The people of the second district deserve to have uh, someone representing them. On Monday, Congresswoman Angie Craig filed a lawsuit to keep her race on the November ballot. As it sits right now, due to the death of one of her challengers, state law dictates the race for the second district must be moved to a special election in February, which Craig argues will leave her constituents without a vote in Washington for nearly a month. It's about people. It's about having representation in Washington when some very, very important issues are going to be addressed. Republican challenger Tyler Kistner, however, sees no problems with pushing the election back to February and argues the lawsuit is Craig's desperate attempt to hold on to power. It's important to remember that the law was put in place because the death of Democrat Senator Paul Wellstone to protect the rights of the voters in Minnesota. This lawsuit brings even more confusion to an already confusing situation in the 2nd District. So we reached out to the Secretary of State's office to see what voters should know and if this lawsuit could even get figured out before the election in November. I would imagine that it will be decided very quickly. Secretary of State Steve Simon says it's very likely the court's decision will come before the November election. We're talking closer to days than weeks when this would be decided. So he's encouraging voters in the 2nd District to vote for the congressional race on the November ballot just in case. It won't have any effect on the February special election one way or another. Gordon Severson, Carol Evan News. And the Secretary of State's office says anyone who already voted for the late Adam Weeks in the second con congressional race can change their ballots up to 14 days before the election. Same goes for anyone who left that race blank. They too can get their ballot back and vote for their candidate in the race.